My family is spread out around the world. The challenge was like always feeling like I didn't really have a home. In hindsight, what I see is that I had many homes and I feel so thankful for the ability to learn more about both cultures. 13, I have a boyfriend. Mom meets him and she meets his mother. He's kind of like the first official boyfriend. I became pregnant. Fear kept me silent. Fear of what mom might say or do. So I hid my pregnancy for eight months. I had an ultrasound and found out that I was in fact eight months pregnant with a baby girl. And so I called my sister and asked my sister to please tell my mom. <laughs> because I was really afraid. I am just forever thankful that she gave me the gift of choice. I knew I wanted to be her mom and that I would raise her. I always wanted to meet someone like myself who could tell me, you got this. You're already in it. We can't undo this. And I know it's challenging. The world is screaming so many different things at you and so much judgment and so much fear. Just hold on to best case scenario and you got this. In college, it was challenging for me to stay focused. But once I found photography, and it was my photography professor, and his class was women in photography, that class really changed my destiny. Continuing my education has really helped me find my voice. Raising Jess as a single mom, I often felt alone. When I look back and I see all of these uh, different people that make up our village, I see the importance of being part of a community like this. There are students that are in adverse situations where they don't feel like they have a lot of support. But then when they meet people that have also journeyed through adversity and they see that they're doing well and they've made something of themselves, they can see that anything is possible. I love being a mentor. Connecting with Bethany makes me feel alive. It reminds me of where I once was. It keeps me so grounded. I'm so thankful for our connection. We have so much fun together, but it's just so gratifying to hold that space for her and just hear her out and listen to what's going on in her life and what her concerns are and like what are some of the key topics that we must pay attention to right away grades books to read what's going on with lazaro daycare for lazaro all these different moving parts i feel that just by having somebody who cares in her life is really special